Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 3, Video 5 on Working with Loads. We've seen how we can apply pressure loads to load panels. Now let's see how we can apply loads to plate patches, which is similar to load panels, except of course these are structural, whereas plate uh, uh, panels are non-structural. So a patch is an assembly of contiguous plate elements, and we can apply the same loads as panel loads, i.e. we can have a distributed load in the local or global coordinate system, and we can use the true or the projected area. We can also apply uh, those loads as a point load, and we can parametrically locate that point load within the patch, and then multi-frame will automatically distribute the load to the nearest plate nodes underneath. And we can finally apply edge loads to the patch, and so we can choose the edge and direction that those loads, line loads, will be applied to. Uh, they could be loads resulting from a wall or something like that, uh, and uh, they, they can be applied to any edge of any patch. So let's go over to multi-frame and first we'll create a couple of patches. So I'll just select uh, my beams at this level and use the automatic command to create some plate patches there. We don't have to worry about the mesh density inside them. Multi-frame takes care of that. And then over in the load window we can select a patch and then we can see that we have global, local uh, patch loads, uh, point loads, distributed loads and edge loads. So if we just want a global distributed load that's straightforward, we choose the direction and magnitude uh, to apply that pressure load to the patch. If I select my second patch and choose a point load, uh, then we can see that the position of that point load can be defined parametrically. So this is in the local coordinate system of the patch. Uh, so in the case of a skewed patch, uh, we would use the uh, local coordinates defined by the first edge of the patch and you can see that uh, we use a formula again for the location of the load within that patch and so we get a point load in the center which will be automatically distributed to the nearest nodes underneath. If we want a line load along an edge we can select the patch and choose the edge load command. Uh, this time we can choose the shape of the load so very similar to a member load and then we can choose the direction on the edge and it, you can see that it can be in plane, shear or out of plane load. So I'm going to choose an out of plane load acting downwards uh, applied to the first edge of my patch and choose a load magnitude. And we can see we get our distributed line load along the edge of the patch. So patch loads are a natural extension of what we've done with panel loads um, and completely independent of the mesh density underneath. Uh, all of those loads will be automatically attributed to the plates or the nodes within the mesh of each of those patches. That completes our brief overview of patch loads. Thanks for watching.